In the last video, we saw how a probability distribution for a random variable shows all of the possible values it can take. In this video, we will see how to calculate expected returns based on its probability distribution. The return on an investment is a random variable that can take any value within a given range. Expected returns can be calculated using following two steps. In step 1, we multiply potential outcomes or returns by the probability of occurrence of each outcome. Step 2 is to calculate the sum of the probability weighted returns from step 1. Let's look at an example. Consider the following probability distribution for potential returns for company wise stocks. In step 1, we multiply the returns with their associated probabilities. Finally, we add all of these probability weighted returns to calculate the expected return. Hence, the expected return of company wise stocks is 0.1015 or 10.15%. The purpose of calculating the expected return is to forecast an investment's probable profits. However, expected returns being random quantities, we cannot count on an individual forecast being realized. Hence, it is important to measure the risk we face. Variance and standard deviation measure the dispersion of outcomes around the expected value or forecast. The variance of a random variable is the expected value or the probability weighted average of the squared deviation from the random variable's expected value. If variance is zero, there is no dispersion or risk. The outcome is certain and the quantity x is not random. Variance greater than zero indicates dispersion of outcomes or higher risks associated with realizing an outcome of the random variable x. Standard deviation is the square root of variance. Let's calculate the variance and standard deviation for our expected returns for company-wise stocks. Recall that the expected value of company-wise stocks is 10.15%. So once we have calculated the expected returns, the first step towards calculating the variance is to find the square deviations of each outcome from the expected return. Next, we weight the squared deviations by respective probabilities as follows. Finally, we can calculate the variance as the sum of these probability weighted squared deviations from the expected returns. To calculate the standard deviation, take the square root of the variance. Hence, the standard deviation of expected returns for company-wise stocks is 2.5549 or 255.5%.